Hi guys, it's Paula. I hope you're doing well today. I had a chance to brainstorm some ideas about things that I wanted to talk to you about. And one of them that came up, one topic that came up that I thought I should discuss is kind of my confession, my, my confessions as a makeup hoarder. Um, and really it's my confessions as a makeup hoarder slash project panner. One of the things I have trouble with is enjoying all of my makeup. I have bought so much makeup over the years that I have more than I can actually enjoy on a regular basis, which makes me feel sad, of course, and silly for spending the money on stuff that I'm not even enjoying. But um, to make it even worse, as a project panner, if I wanna see progress on the things that I'm working on, on the items that I've placed in projects, I need to use those product products every day. I can't play around with regular makeup baskets and change things in and out if I really wanna see progress on the things that I wanna finish or the things that are in projects. So I have been hardcore project panning for over a year now, for about a year and a half. And so here's my confession. Pretty much every makeup I have bought, every piece of makeup that I have bought over the last year and a half, I have not used. There are a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, when I buy a new piece of makeup, I open it, I look at it. Sometimes I swatch it and take photos of it for Instagram and then it goes into the office where I store all my makeup and it gets put away. Because tomorrow, the next day, when I wake up and I put my makeup on, I'm gonna go back to my project pan items that I need to focus on. And I think it's becoming more and more clear to me that my timeline is just so unrealistic. Um, my expectation of how long it takes me to finish. Like I tell myself, it's okay to put it in there because I'll, I'll get to it. I will enjoy it when I get rid of all this old stuff, but I don't know anymore, you guys. I don't know if there's enough time left in my life to use up all the makeup I have, but that's depressing. Let's not talk about that. What I thought I would do today is show you guys some of my untouched makeup that is brand new, that I've had for quite a while. And if this is something you guys like to see, maybe this will be a part one and there will be more parts to come. Leave a comment down below and let me know if this is the kind of thing you like to look at. But I thought I would confess to you what products I have bought and have never worn on my face even once. <sighs> Let's start with this little gem. My butter bronzer, I have owned this for I believe two years now and it is brand new. I have opened it, I have smelled it. It does smell like beautiful coconutty suntan lotion but I have never once worn it on my face. I was had a bronzer in my Pan That Palette last year and I have a bronzer in my Pan That Palette this year. So it is untouched. I would love to use this. I bet it would look fabulous on me. <laughs> but I've never used it. That's sad. All right, let's see what I pulled out next. This is a MAC blush. It's called Dunes at Dusk. Oh, that's cool looking. I don't know what you'd call that. A blush, a bronzer, a highlighter. Whoa, don't drop it. But there it is, brand new, never been on my face. I don't remember what this collection was called, but it was gorgeous and I believe I bought it all on sale around Christmas, two Christmases ago. I have four of these that I've never touched. Brand new, still with the um, plastic sealing it. Emily Noel 83 posted a video about how these original Instant Cheekbones trios were the perfect blush and highlighter in one and I bought every one I could find and I've never worn them even once. So this trio is in the shade, ah, Peach Perfection. It looks gorgeous, I love peach blushes. I hope to wear it someday. 
I have two of these Smashbox uh, color wheels. They're called the uh, Fusion Soft Lights Baked Starburst. I don't remember whose video convinced me that I needed this. It might have been Jaclyn Hill, but this has never been used. It is brand new. It looks kind of like a bronzer slash blush. All right, so this is a really embarrassing, oh, don't roll away. This is a really embarrassing confession, but I have four Too Faced palettes. The original chocolate bar, the semi-sweet, the bonbons, and the sweet peach, and I have never touched any of them, even for one eyeshadow look ever. The sweet peach one I did swatch on my arm and take photos of at the request of uh, an Insta friend of mine. So my fingers have touched this one, <sighs> but I have never worn it on my eyes. And these three have never even been touched. Bonbons, semi-sweet, brand new. and the original. And I've been watching so many videos about this palette and I would love to try it. But every morning I'm like, nope, got to focus on what you're panning. Got to stick to it. And I never touch these. One of the things that has encouraged me to play with some of my newer palettes is when I'm invited into those one week, one palette challenges on Instagram. My friend Christine has invited me to do one with her using the Prism, the ABH Prism palette. And um, who was it that invited me to do the Modern Renaissance palette with them? Was it Katie or Whitney? Somebody else invited me to do a one week one palette with the Modern Renaissance and the Prism palettes. And so I used each of those palettes every day for six days, and that's the only reason I've used them. I never used them before that, and I've never used them since. But when those opportunities come along, I will pull a palette out for a week and use it. But other than that, I stick with my panning goals. It is ridiculous. All right, I have one more thing to show you guys, and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. And it is this set of lipsticks that came out the Christmas before last. And um, these are by Bare Minerals. I'm wondering if any of you guys are gonna recognize these. I'm trying to gather them all. Do you guys remember these? They came in a red box with eight of them. And these were all nudes. Uh, last year they did a similar gift set, but it was more colorful lipsticks. These were strictly all nudes from the lightest um, concealer lip nude to a nice like deep pink brown nude. Let's just pull out a couple randomly. This one is in the shade Honey Bun, a nudie brown color. It is gorgeous. I saw these after watching an Emily Noel 83 video. This is XOX. This is more of a pinky nude love it and i convinced myself that i needed these and i bought them and i've never used them even once it's ridiculous this is bubbles this is a pretty good concealer nude color every one of these is brand new and untouched and it just drives me nuts that i feel the compulsion to buy them because i can't get them down the road if i thought i could get these lipsticks in two more years, I would have waited, but they were a holiday release. And once they're gone, they're gone. This is queen. This is gorgeous. A really browny pinky nude. So I, f I convinced myself that I had to buy them, even though I could not possibly use them at the time. And I still have not touched them a year and three months later. So these are my confessions for today. If this is something you guys like, leave a comment below and I will pull out more makeup I have never worn on my face and do a part two. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.